Welcome everybody to a Minecraft tutorial for the multi-MC platform. I've had a few questions on how I was able to load a mini-map in Minecraft, and I will show that picture now. So this was a um, fabric mod, and if you don't know what fabric is, it's sort of like Twitch's version of Forge. And what we're going to do today is tell you how to get the multi-MC loaded on your computer and then add an instance with the Fabric uh, API. So what you're first going to want to do is go to multimc.org and on the left hand side click on download and install. Pick your flavor of operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux this will be on the Windows platform so download that and install it it will ask you to um, tell it where you want the Minecraft files you can choose whatever drive you want to I already have some mod packs here that I've downloaded from the course uh, the curse forge website so what we're going to do now is to create a new instance and we're going to name this one Minecraft 1.14.4 and then at the end we're going to put fabric at the end of this since we're going to load in the fabric API. Now in the list of Minecraft versions you can select the version of Minecraft you want to use in this instance we're going to do 14.4 instead of clicking OK to create the instance we're going to go to import from zip and here is where we're going to paste the URL to download the Forge API files so the next website we want to navigate to is the fabricmc.net. Click on the Use tab. It's got a description of what Fabric is. So we're going to just select Installation for Multi-MC, since that's what we're using. You can keep the default build number, which should automatically have the latest build selected. Now click on Copy Multi-MC Instance URL. What that will do is we'll copy a piece of text to your clipboard. So we go back into MultiMC, and in this file box here, we're going to paste that text. And you see it puts in the download link for the fabric files. So click OK. It's going to download that and then place it into your instance area. Now you can create different uh, groups. So you can change group, and let's say you had a group for mod packs. Now you have all your mod packs here. You can drag um, instances around. Well, they say you can drag them around, or you can just right-click them, change group, and then select your group that you named. All right. So. Once we have this, we're not quite ready to launch it yet. We need a few other files. This is where the curseforge.com website is going to come in handy. Navigate to Minecraft and then to the mods section. Change our version to 1.14 and search for fabric. And a list of fabric mods will come up, and the first one we want is the Fabric API. That's the one that loads all the mods that are compatible with the Fabric API. Select files, and then click on the download link under Actions for the topmost build. Now. We're not just going to download this anywhere. It needs to be at a specific location. So to find that location, go back to MultiMC, click on uh, Edit Instance, click on Loader Mods, and then select View Folder. Now this is where um, this jar file is going to go. So let's copy this directory by clicking up here. It'll highlight it. Right click Copy and then up here in the location we're going to paste that in there and then click the arrow and then click save and when you go back to MultiMC once it's finished downloading and it'll place it in the mod folder where it needs to be 
So that's the Fabric API. That's the first one we need. The second one that I like to use, we're going to go back to the mods of the CurseForge website. There is a mod menu, Fabric mod. And this allows you to um, config the mod that has options. Um, so mod menu allows you to configure some of the mods that have options, like the mappy one, which we're going to install. Same thing, you find the files section of the mod, click on the download link under actions, and save it to the folder. Now, depending on your browser settings, it may automatically keep the location where you last downloaded an item. If it did, great, just click save. If not, go back and find that instance folder where you have MultiMC installed. Okay, so same thing on the Mappy. What Mappy does is it provides this little mini map that hangs up in the right corner or whatever corner you want of your Minecraft uh, game. So click on files, click download under actions, and save it to the same place. Now once that is all fully downloaded, you can go back to the console window for your loader mods and see that all three of them are there. We have the fabric API, the mappy mod, and the mod menu mod. Now one other one that I want to try is called uh, is it called wheelie mouse or mouse wheelie? Now let's search for fabric again. Mouse wheelie, there it is. So if you've played other mod packs before, they probably have something called uh, mouse tweaks, which allow for different um, inventory sorting and um, scrolling inventory items back and forth. That's what this, this one does. So we're going to select files and download and save it into our mods folder. And once again, back to MultiMC, you see that it now has mouse wheelie. So I think that's the last one that I wanted to do for this tutorial. We're going to close it, and then we're going to launch the Minecraft jar, or Minecraft instance, sorry. It's getting all the Minecraft files for this particular instance since I haven't loaded it before. So now we're loading up the Minecraft game, Hush Bone. As you can see, it loads it rather quickly, too. Now down here we can see where it says Minecraft 1.14.4 slash fabric. If you see that, you know you're loading the Fabric API. And also in the main menu, we can see this Mods option, or this Mods button. This is the mini mods, or the, the mod menu option. And we have all of our mods installed. If you want to configure the Mappy mod, click on the Settings button. Here we have different options for the map, like where the position is, the offset is, is how far from the edge you want it, just the rest. The map size, I'm going to change mine to 128. Depending on your screen size, you can have it uh, smaller or larger. And this is all in pixel uh, measurements. So we, we can have it to move the map for effects. That's part of um, like when you're traveling across the world, does it move? Um, show the map while in chat. You can just leave that on or turn it off. You can go over to map info and you can give it more options here. So we can um, have grid lines showing on the mini map. We can show our position, our biome, our frames per second. I turn that off. The server time or the world time. The direction, north, south, east, or west. Player names or player heads and show entities. Um, I believe yellow entities are the good ones and the red entities are the bad ones. And we'll see that here in just a moment. Make sure you click on save changes. Let's go under mouse wheelie for a moment and see what we have here. 
Um, changes sort modes. Existing sort modes are alphabetic, raw, and quantity. So middle mouse click. If you hover over, it tells you or just a description of what this setting does. So this one sets the sort mode for sorting via middle click. So do you want it to sort by alphabet, which would be the alphabet of the item, the raw ID, or the quantity, like highest quantity down to lowest quantity. Uh, shift mouse click sets the sorting for via shift, and then control middle mouse click as well. Uh, scroll factor, we have sets the scroll factor for item scrolling, and then middle click to correct tool while holding. Uh, let's see. If we go out, pick the correct tool and middle clicking while holding the tool. Okay, and then the refill options. Oh, you can automatically refill uh, food if it's. So does it do tools as well? Um, yeah, when using items. So if you have multiple pickaxes in your inventory and you use one up to its um, capacity and it breaks, the next one will automatically pop into your, into your hand. So that's a nice feature as well. Okay, so we're going to save changes. Let's load up a new map. I'm going to put mine in hard. Uh, no, I'm creative. And then we're going to call this one. And once our Minecraft world is loaded, you see up in the corner we have our mini map. Our player moves across the map while we move. And it shows our direction. We're facing east, facing north, and west, and south. You can place items or place waypoints by clicking the B. So we can set a waypoint here. We notice this is a big pond. And it shows up on our map is a pink dot. And you notice as we move further and further away from it, it kind of goes, it doesn't go off map, it just stays at the edge of the, the map. So as we get closer to it, it becomes closer to us. That's the way we can navigate towards those waypoints. You don't see it in in your view like you do on Journey Map, but having it on the mini map is is something. Now you can also click H to hide the mini map if you don't want to see it temporarily. You can do that. H turn it back on, and then the U key will bring up a list of all your waypoints. If you have multiple waypoints here in the overworld, it'll list all of those with their respective color. You can click over to the end or to the nether, and it keeps their own set of coordinates there. Okay. So now let's go over to a flat piece of land here, and let's get a chest. I'm going to plop it down. Now let's grab, uh, let's see. Let's go some of that and get some of that and maybe some redstone and how about some diamonds? Okay. Alright. So if we go to the chest and we can start putting this stuff in here by scrolling the wheel, scrolling up and down will send items to and from our inventory. Alright, so we can put them all in the chest like that. So now if we, uh, let's put some redstone here, some stone, and some diamond, and some planks. If we middle click inside this chest, now they all come back to the order. So you, you remember how it said that it would put them in um, order by numeric value? Let's see, let me grab that many and then there so now let's rearrange these so they're not in numeric value 
Now we click R, we'll click our middle mouse button. Now they go from highest to lowest. Uh, let's see. Being in creative, when you use your middle mouse click, it grabs a full stack of whatever you are on. So we really can't show that feature that well. Let's see. Huh, that's cool. Hmm. Anyway, there's a uh, mouse wheelie, or the equivalent of the mouse weeks. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment down in the towel section down below. Leave a like. So please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, we do uh, hardcore challenges. We do live streams. So you'll definitely want to check those out. Anyway, this is JEW. Keep digging.